Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is I, Alastair, and welcome to a mega review of Pancras Truth 9. This means I'm not going to be dividing up by fights, I'm just going to try and do it all in one go. This may or may not work, I might decide to stop doing this halfway through. Who really cares? Uh, but because the show is not as long as some of the other ones, I thought I'd be able to get it all done in one go. So our first fight is the GOAT himself, Jong Wam Kim versus Man, who just uh, improved his heinous losing streak slightly, Takafumi Ito. So Ito managed to go to a draw last time against Ryushi Yanagisawa, and Jong Wan Kim is, as usual, coming off a loss. Very intense looking by Takafumi Ito, who has aged considerably in the two years here. Oh, it's only a year and a bit that he's been fighting in camp Pancras, but he does look quite a bit older. Uh, up against the strong boy pudge ball, Jong Wang Kim, and Ito says, Come on! at the bell. Front kick from Jong Wang Kim. And a picture perfect fucking sidekick that knocked uh, Takafumi Ito to the ground. And he looks a little bit uh, wobbled. He's, he's not happy with being uh, given a down there. Another sidekick from Jong Wang Kim. Low single attempt by. Oh fuck! Just been punted in the face by Jong Wang Kim off that sprawl. Holy shit, Jong Wang Kim is a killer at the moment. He's just fucking up poor Ito. Oh god, this is bad. Alright, another low single from Ito. Another sprawl by Pudgeball Jong Wan Kim. Oh, and he's. Ooh, he thought about punting Ito in the face there, but that would be illegal because Ito was you know, on all fours on the ground. Uh, Jong Wan Kim's like, oh, yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to punt him in the face. And has been given a red card, so that's a lost point. But uh, things aren't good for Ito because he's, he's wobbly already. Another single attempt. Okay, he's gotten the single this time. Oh, hips away by Jong Wan Kim. Uh, knee on the takedown attempt there. Uh, still fighting off that single is Jong Wan Kim, and he's doing a good job. He's very strong. A big boy. Uh, he just punted Ito in the face again. Uh, the ref thought about stopping it. Jong Wan Kim, stop kicking Ito in the face when he's on all fours. And they're not going to give him a red card this time. What the fuck? <laughs> oh well. It's right, still going. Jong Wan Kim's thinking sidekick. Using his sick taekwondo skills. Oh, high kick. Slap. Uh, Alright. Come on, Ito. Oh, separated the grips has Jong Wan Kim. Still on that single leg. Alright. Jong Wan Kim decided not to punt him in the face this time. Very good. No soccer kicks this time. And the crowd applauds. The, cr the crowd applauds. The crowd applauds Jong Wan Kim not cheating like a motherfucker. Oh, good palm strike there as uh, Ito uh, committed his hips. Oh, good bitch slap too. And that is three points, three downs. That is the end of the match. And Jong Wan Kim has won. Very nice uh, separating palm strike. Uh, this is going to be very weird, but very Jose Aldo esque there. Uh, if you remember the first fight that Jose Aldo had against Chad Mendes. Chad Mendes had a back body lock on Aldo, tried to suplex him. Aldo gripped the cage and prevented the suplex. Uh, nothing was done about the cage grip, but then they returned to standing. Aldo separated, uh, separated Mendes' hands and turned around, and as Mendes came back in, he threw that awesome intercepting knee. The same thing has just happened there with Jong Wang Kim and Takafumi Ito's face. As he separated their hands and turned around, Ito's dive back in to finish the takedown and just being cuffed on the jaw and has dropped to one knee and so with his already wobbly head from that awesome Van Damme sidekick and that first actually legal soccer kick unlike the other two yeah uh, Ito just couldn't stay standing and so has lost and looks dejected very unhappy is Takafumi Ito and I can understand why he's on a bad streak at the moment and I'm going to blame it partially on Pancras' matchmaking of him. Uh, they, 
Yeah, look how unhappy he is. Because the moment he won the Neo Blood tournament, they just jammed all of his momentum by putting him up against Frank Shamrock, who he was not ready for at all. And then Jason DeLucia immediately afterwards, who he was also not ready for. It's just like they go, Oh, you're doing really well, Takafumi Ito. Let's just completely stop all momentum you've had. Mind you, they did the same thing with Yuki Kondo immediately put him after the uh, 96 Neo Blood tournament, put him in with Frank Shamrock, and Neo and Kondo uh, rose to the occasion that time, but uh, still, this is about as bad as things get for Takafumi Ito. Uh, this and the Funaki losses were the hardest of his, uh, his little streak here, but he, I think this is the last like bad loss before he starts coming back, which is good. I'm just nodding my head along to the manic street street blah, blah, manic street preachers there. I do not have the uh, fight card pulled up, so I've got no idea who's next. Very professional <laughs> production by me here. Oh, Hasegawa. And I like how they've uh, set up in this particular auditorium. I don't know which one this is. I don't think it's the Dipper Ariaki Coliseum. But uh, using the uh, escalators as sort of entrance ramps. And the escalators that go in two directions directly into the uh, blue and red corner uh, carpet is pretty good. I don't know if Hasegawa's won a fight yet. I really should have done more research before I started this. Who cares? Oh, this is not a good matchup for Hasegawa. Uh, Kiyoma Kuniyoku, fresh off his win against uh, Keichiro Yamamiya, that really nice armbar from the bottom. And Kunioku is very experienced. He's been fighting since Truth, either one or two. So he's been fighting for the full year, whereas Hasegawa has only really just started. And this is very interesting because they are seem to be making the matchups that were missed in the Neo Blood tournament. So last time we had Hasegawa versus Shibuya because they were on opposite ends of the bracket, and uh, this time we've got Kiyuma Kunioku versus Hasegawa. And as usual, Kunioku coming out in his glorious hot pink ring gear. And a great Pancras jacket. I want one of those jackets. They are so good. And uh, Hasegawa, not quite so undersized as usual. Uh, Shibuya is a lot... Fuck, of course I called Kunioku Shibuya. Uh, Kunioku. Uh, <laughs> bit beefier than Satoshi Hasegawa. Fair bit beefier, but not that much taller. Surprised they haven't done Hasegawa versus Ito yet, because those two are basically the same size. And no right hand taped up for Kiyama Kunioku this time. So apparently whatever was going on with that wrist and uh, hand has stopped happening. So I look forward to him re-breaking it very soon. Alright, referee has told him no punching and three rope escapes. Referee Kosuke Kenji. And here we go. Ooh. Big start by Hasegawa trying to lay down some, uh, get some respect with some palm strikes. So he's eaten a pair of three very hard outside low kicks. And then a fake low kick by Kiyuma Kinyoku into that high kick. Uh, Hasegawa slipped over on that, uh, 
kick and has attempted to butt scoot all the way away. Uh, let's see how Kunioku approaches this guard. He's decided not to screw around in open guard and has immediately switched to a single... Ooh, leg lace here! Trying for the uh, Texas Cloverleaf. Oh no, he's just grabbing a toehold directly standing over the top of... Has to go a very interesting way to pass Butterfly Guard. Fuck you, fuck your Butterfly Guard, I'm just gonna toehold you. <laughs> very interesting, might be trying that in training. Oh, now he's trying to toehold the other side. But, because Hasegawa's head escaped the ring, they have been broken. And now, Kinyoku's on the front foot. Although Hasegawa not backing down. Good palm strikes from Hasegawa, but not very much sting on them. Uh, yeah, not really bothered by those was Kiyama Kinyoku, who's immediately passed Hasegawa's guard using that headlock down to round to north south putting his cup right in uh, Hasegawa's ear shin on neck ride very briefly and Hasegawa's T-Rexing hard here so the way he's got his arms sort of close elbows in Good low kick by Kunioku and a hard palm strike afterwards. Body kick. Double unders from Kunioku. Let's see what he does here. Attempted double overhook suplex from Hasegawa, but he did not have enough bridge and Kunioku's managed to base out and take top. Hasegawa's given up his back. Still good on you, Hasegawa. Hasegawa trying for that double overhook suplex. It's very hard to do that one, you've got to be right under the person and almost sideways. Gift wrap from Kunioku. Gift wrap into Z mount. And he's probably going to try for that armbar. Kunioku did have a good one, he's prevented that first escape. Hasegawa managed to get his elbow back though, and well done Kunioku, staying on top. I'd probably call a break here, ref. Yeah, there we go. Hasegawa fixing his mouth guard. Alright, still going. Palm flurries from Hasegawa. Doing his best to uh, attempt to gain some respect from Kiyama Kunioku, but Kunioku just seems completely unbothered by them. Front kick. Ooh, very uh, high impact entrance to that clinch there. I think there might have been a little sneaky headbutt. Knee in the clinch from Hasegawa immediately ate a bigger one from Kunioku. And two knees to the body, and Hasegawa dropped down to one knee. And he's not objecting to that one. He's just going, yeah, I'll take that as a down. I'll take the break. I needed it. High kick attempt from Kunioku, and then he's uh, dropped to his ass, attempted a leg scissors, and grabbed a single leg. Oh, and there's a break here. Not sure why. And they're giving Hasegawa a yellow card for some reason. Got no idea why. Maybe he threw a kick at, um... Kiyama when he was on the ground. But I didn't see that, so I got nothing. Ladies and gents. Body kick from Kiyama Kunioku. Intercepting body kick by Kunioku. The moment Hasegawa thought about stepping into strike and sort of stiffened up, Kunioku jammed him with a kick there. Very nice. Ooh, hard knee. Another hard knee. Palm strikes. Knees to the head. Uh, tight clinch. Fuck! Call it down, ref. This is bad. 
There we go. Fucking serious beating received by Hasegawa in the corner there. Right, one last point for Hasegawa. I see Kiyama Kunyoku getting it very soon. Hasegawa shaking his head, trying to get the cobwebs out. Ooh, closed his eyes there when he threw that um, left palm strike. Fake kick into palm strikes by Kunioku, and then an intercepting knee that dropped Hasegawa. And so that is it, our second TKO of the night. This is the second um, match by complete lost points that we've had in one night. And I don't remember the last time we had one. I know Vernon lost all five of his, Vernon Tiger White lost all five of his points once back in the day, but I can't remember the last time that we had two uh, TKO lost points on one show. Still, nicely done, Kiyoma Kunioku. Good clinch work there, hard uh, kickboxing as well. And just complete another disrespect for Hasegawa's hands. Hope you're all like uh, Manic Street Preachers. We've got that playing in the background here. I may have to uh, mute it. Uh, it won't be... Um, if the uh, video gets pulled down because of that being in the background, I'll have to mute it. But uh, if it doesn't, we'll just leave it up and let whoever claim copyright... Uh, let whoever claim the ad re revenue claims the ad revenue. Because it probably should go to Pancras, let's be honest. In fact, I've never objected to Pancras uh, copyright claiming a video. Because, you know, this is their stuff. I'm just sort of adding my voice over the top of it. And at least they're not dicks like Akira Mater about it. Mater's like, you put rings on YouTube? Fuck you, I'm going to take the video down and ba and request that your account be banned. Whereas uh, Pancras is like, okay, if you throw it up there, we'll just stick some ads on it and get the 40 cents ad revenue to uh, pay for putting Rin Nakai in weird outfits. Those weird outfits aren't going to pay for themselves. Gonna pay for Stuart Fulton's um weird analogy book. What well, about analogies? I don't know what to call them. Smooth as a ghost on roller skates. Fuck, that was good. <laughs> ah, here we have Keichiro Yamamiya and his very funky walkout song. And uh, his elbows taped up. Oh yeah, because he got it um, hyperextended by Kima Kunioku last time, which is probably only a month ago, in uh, Pancras time. So that would explain why he's decided to tape up his elbow, because probably there's a couple of ligaments that are not the way they should be. And here comes his opponent. Kazuo Takahashi out to his also extremely funky walkout song. And his fucking sick robe. Mm. 
No Shin Guards by Mr. Takahashi today. So, obviously, not deciding to kick with the young boy. He's probably just going to slap the shit out of him. And if there's a man who is hard on young boys in the ring, it is Kazuo Takahashi. Also, no gold speedos today. Very unexpected. He's wearing uh, shorts. Three lost points, no punching. Takashi with a nice crew cut. And he's straight walking down uh, Yamamiya here and just landing a bunch of bitch slaps. Good slip there by Takashi. And uh, hand trap attempts. Body punches into cuffing strikes. And he's just walking down poor old Yamamiya. And uh, Yamamiya's done a full lap of the ring and got no space whatsoever. So Takashi's doing a good job of cutting it off. Uh, good double leg attempt by Yamamiya to get himself out of the ring. But Takashi breaks it and lands some nice laps. Oh, good uppercut by Takashi there. And good uh, body strike, good palm strikes as well. Takashi is just content to slap the ever-loving crap out of poor old Yamamiya. And he's jamming him in the corners too. Very good ring cutting by uh, Kazuo Takashi. You can see that he's keeping Yamamiya constantly stuck on the ropes. He's not following him around, he's stepping sort of across to cut him off. Good double leg, very nice penetration from Yamamiya there, uh, but <laughs> backdoor escape from Takahashi and now he's on top in sort of knee ride and he's just going to slap him. Body punches. You don't see him trying for any submissions, I just see him just beating him up. Break! Break! Regard by Yamamiya immediately followed by a break from the referee. Takashi pacing. And he looks very serious. He's just like, I'm going to beat you up, young boy. Good palm strikes from Takashi. And he's got a guillotine here. Uh, I can see kind of that Yomi is fighting the hands. So trying to peel apart Kazuo Takahashi's hands so he can't finish the choke. Takahashi switched to an arm in and Yamami has managed to get his head free. Palm strike from the bottom from Takahashi. Fight. Yes, saw that coming. The moment Yamami's hands uh, went away from Takahashi, he just beach slapped him right in the head. Backhand fight. Yep, saw it coming again. Uh, body punch from Yamamiya. And the ref stared them up. 
Yeah, Yamami is relying on diving straight through Takahashi to finish those uh, takedowns. Not turning the corner, so he is a bit vulnerable to chokes here. And it seems Takahashi is starting to see him coming. Has been seeing them coming uh, the whole match. Oh, just poked Yamamiya in the eye. He's like, ugh. Got some of his eye juice on my hand. So he said sorry and walked off into the corner. He was like, ugh. Went right into the knuckle there. Yomi has asked for his face to be wiped down. Don't know if that's going to help. Takashi's okay, thinking about a sprawl there. One, two from Yamamiya. Another palm flurry from Takashi. Uh, double leg from Yamamiya. Nicely turned the corner, but Takashi's got his head in an army and guillotine. He's only got half guard go, so it's going to be very difficult to finish. Not that that will stop Takashi, because Takashi's strong. Good, nice uh, hand fight by Yamamiya there to get his head free. Backstep by Yamamiya. Uh, Takashi's trying to sit up into an octopus underhook. Uh, good cross face from Yamamiya. Bit of an ass grab by Takahashi there. Uh, Yamamiya's doing his best to keep Takahashi down. And uh, he's going to move to a wrestling ride almost. Well, Takahashi's triangled his legs in a weird way. Oh, nice pass by Yamamiya there into Mount. And now he's going to land some slaps. This is what it feels like, Takahashi. Yeah, he's putting some meat on those. Uh, Takahashi's just covered up. Just done a wide cover up and gone head to dick. Uh, good palm strikes from the bottom of Mount by Takahashi. Like, you can't palm strike me, boyo. That's my job. Uh, Takahashi's gone belly down. He's just going to stand up uh, and shake it off. Yamamiya, and managed to turn back into him. Good palm strikes. Oh, uppercuts. Uppercuts by Takahashi. Palm strikes. Down. Yeah, I'd call that a down too. Just completely slung him to the ground. But uh, that was after getting walloped a few times. So Yamamiya's a little bit wobbly. I'm just going to double check him. Maybe his nose is bleeding? I can't really tell. But they're wiping him down for some reason or other. Just gonna have a ladies and, uh, drink, ladies and gentlemen, excuse me. Yeah, Takahashi really asserting dominance in this fight. As usual when he fights a young boy, he's just like, Yeah, young boy, you can't beat me. I'm Takahashi. I was the young boy. Oh, double leg attempt by Yamamiya, completely stuffed by Takahashi, followed by some uppercuts to the body, some more palm strikes. He's really slinging it to Yamamiya's body, just completely taking the wind out of the poor kid. Uh, single leg by Yamamiya, completely stuffed by Takahashi again. See how he's got his hips sort of jamming Yamamiya there. And Yamamiya probably doesn't have the gas to push through because of all the body punishment that Takahashi's been giving him. Oh. Takashi, I thought he had front headlock there, but no, Yamamiya's got his head free. Head control by Takahashi, just putting his, pinning his head against Yamamiya's head and using that to manipulate him. Yamamiya looks tired. And it's very, very tiring being chased around the ring and hit, so guarantee that, <laughs> that Takahashi's happy that he's tiring him out. And Takahashi's pacing the ring like a predator, just like, I can beat this kid, I can beat this kid right now, fuck you kid. Takashi is the kid who goes to boarding school, gets bullied as a young kid, but rather than going, Oh, I didn't enjoy that, I'm gonna not do that to the next generation, he goes, Fuck that, fuck the old generation, I'm gonna make it worse than the next generation. That is Takahashi.
There's a great uh, program by some of the boys from Monty Python called Tomkinson's School Days, and uh, that is exactly what happens in that. It is a great little uh, sort of spoof of schoolyard uh, drama. Nice guillotine by Takahashi. Oh, very nicely caught uh, on that double leg. Good regard as well, and he has finished that and choked Yamamiya so hard that he is immediately woozy. And the ref's just like, come on, dude. Stay down, it's fine. <laughs> Yamamiya kind of got up with his hands in let's fight position. <laughs> so he's obviously extremely woozy and he's like, oh, cheers, boss. Thanks for bullying me. It'll make me a stronger man. And now he's going to cry. Oh, no, Yamamiya, don't cry. Oh, fucking. <laughs> the boys in Pancras, they really felt it when they lost. Really felt it when they won as well, uh, being Japanese tears of victory and defeat. But I think this is uh, you know, his first two fight losing streak, so maybe he feels kind of bad. It's like, no, I'm gonna be like Ito Sue. <laughs> Sorry, Ito. Yeah, a busted elbow and a probably moderate concussion from fighting Takahashi. Not a good two months for Keichiro Yamamiya. Let us hope things get better for him at Pancras Truth 10. Alright, here we have a title eliminator between Shibuya Osami and Jason Delucia. So yeah, Pancras Truth 9 has a four-man tournament at the top of the card. Uh, for the vacant King of Pancras title, uh, it has on one side of the bracket, Shibuya Osami versus Jason Delucia, and on the other side of the bracket, Yuki Kondo versus Masakatsu Funaki. And the title will be uh, won at the next event, Pancras Truth 10. Here's Delucia. Jason funny shaped Delucia. Cause he's uh, so thick in the torso. Does not have the classic bodybuilding V taper. Like he's, I'm not gonna say he doesn't have a good bod. We'll, we'll, we'll uh, allow him that. He looks pretty good. But he's just so thick through the core. It's, uh, his chest is shaped like a barrel despite being like having big pecs and big shoulders. It's very strange. And probably uh, goes a long way to explain why his bridge was so strong because he has gorilla strength his way out of a lot of bad positions.
Uh, Jason Delucia, owner of the first remaked Choker Victory in the um, UFC. He fought as uh, on an exhibition bout. Well, it wasn't really an exhibition. It was a non-tournament bout against... Uh, it was a Kung Fu guy. That was Delucia versus some karate guy. And Delucia... After throwing some spinning shit at each other, I uh, got his nose bridge cut open by a toenail, and so then uh, shot a takedown and choked the other guy out. Uh, kicks from Delucia to start with. Ooh, very nice skipping lead roundhouse. Uh, nice pick of that lead check into a strike in. Nicely done as well there. He checked uh, Shibuya's kick and immediately threw back a counter. Now he's throwing inside low kicks. Nice kicks here from the boyos. Uh... Nice takedown from Shibuya, turning the corner there with that trip, throwing Jason Delicia to the ground. Delicia attempted to butterfly hook, sort of elevator hook him over, didn't quite work out, and now we're in half butterfly guard. Or as George St. Pierre likes to call it, most of the way to half guard. Alright, uh, he's re-guarded into butterfly guard, uh, and Delicia, not Delicia, Shibuya managed to go over the knees, and so he's now most of the way, yeah, most of the way to mount. Ah, uh, Delicia's trying to kick away and go for a leg. Now he's tried to backdoor escape. He's got double unders. Uh, attempted sit out by Shibuya. Did not work out. And now double under pass. Probably going to be tried by Delicia. So he's going to pick. He's going to stack up Shibuya and then just go whichever way he feels the pressure. Just like that. And now he's in top side control. And so we will see Delucia grind his forearm on poor old Shibuya's face. Right, Shibuya controlling the elbows here. Nice dismount by Delucia. Leaving a little bit too much space, uh, Shibuya nearly caught the regard, has managed to recatch half guard, and he was thinking about the leg, but the cross face from Delucia stopped that, and so now he's just going to forearm choke poor old Shibuya right in the throat. And he's shoving down on the knee, uh, nearly tried for a double wrist lock there, and back to the forearm choke. Uh, maybe Shibuya is trying for a lockdown here, the way he's triangled that leg. Uh, but he does not have his foot under Delucia's foot, which is the requirement for that position. And sick of seeing Jason's el the point of Jason's elbow going into Shibuya's throat, the ref has stood them up. Palm strikes from Delucia. Good kick. Nice single leg from Shibuya, though. Straighten them out. Nicely done. And double overhooks from Jason, so I expect to see a bridge and roll. Although Shibuya's doing the right thing and putting all of his weight on one side. Tried to dismount there. Uh, Delucia's caught up his leg in sort of a weird thing. Managed to shove it back into sort of an empty half and shoved it back to full half. Uh, Delucia choke attempt there. Shibuya saw that coming and went, go backwards, escape, run away, and got his head free. And so now he's uh, on top of a mount, trying to step into half guard. And he's trying to back step over Delucia's legs, or through Delucia's legs, to uh, get position. A lot of space here. Z mount. Escape from Shibuya. Ah, escape from Delucia. Don't know why. Shibuya and Delucia look nothing alike, and they only have the same amount of syllables. Fuck, Alistair, what are you doing? Uh, backdoor escape by Delucia into a stack pass. Uh, into half guard. Arm triangle attempt briefly from the bottom by Shibuya, and now back to passing half guard by Delucia, using the forearm choke as a man does. Right. I am. Ooh, trying for the Delucia choke from on top. I call it the Delucia choke. It is a modified Ezekiel, uh, including an underhook. And now he's in mount with it. And he's lost it. Uh... Body lock from Shibuya. Oh, Delicia's in my favorite spot with the underhook with a forearm in the face. Good way of stopping a stack or stopping pressure. Oh, now he's back to the Delicia choke. And he's grabbing it pretty hard. Uh, Shibuya is trying to go backwards, fighting the hands, pushing the fist out of his throat, which is stopping the choke from being finished. And I believe Shibuya got... Oh, somebody Shibuya knows got caught with this before. I'm not sure if Shibuya and Delicia have fought before. I'm sure they have. But, uh... He's seen enough people get caught by that choke that he decided he did not want to be taking part of it. Nice pass by Shibuya as Delicia popped his legs. Uh, North-South, over to Mount, quarter guard. 
Lucia trying to catch her foot. What? Delusia literally shoved um, Shibuya's foot up with his own foot, thus passing to letting Shibuya pass him out. Oh, nice elevator hook as Shibuya tried to backstep over to side control. Uh, hand push triangle attempt by Shibuya. Didn't quite work out. Now he's just got overhook control and now they've been stood up. Very, uh, very exciting fight here. Lots of stuff going on. Shibuya being forced to be active by the strong Delucia. Backstanding. Oh, nice uh, slip counter by Shibuya. Good long right hand into takedown attempt. Nice turn of the corner, and he's finished that takedown. Uh, Delucia might be able to regard here, though. Oh, nicely done. Shibuya changing direction, taking north south. The freaky mount. Delucia shoved the hips away and recover. Well, spun to recover guard and just ended up on the bottom of the mount instead. Mind you, Delucia doesn't mind being mounted because he can just bridge you off him. Or attempt to choke you from the bottom. And do a headlock throw uh, into Scarfold. Oh, now he's trying to Scarfold choke. Using his fist in Shibuya's throat. Shibuya's trying to frame Delucia's face away. And so Delucia has switched to north-south, using head and hip control to spin around. Uh, TK scissors attempt by young man Osami Shibuya. Underhook escape attempt. Uh, baseball bat choke, maybe? Oh, Delucia's trying for an arm here. And stepped over to Mount. Underhook escape by Shibuya. Nicely done. Backdoor underhook escape. Uh, baseball bat choke maybe from Delucia. Gorilla bridge, but he threw Delucia, oh, threw Shibuya into the ropes. And so Shibuya was able to stay on top of Mount. Now he's complaining to the ref about something. Delucia had a bad habit of talking to the ref when he should be fighting. Slip there by Shibuya. Good check by Delusia there. Good double leg entry by Shibuya. And a nice fade back to guard rather than getting his back taken. Because having Delusia on your back is a dangerous prospect. Because he had a good choke. Right. see what offense the boys can offer from this guard position. Uh, overhook by Shibuya. Delish is breaking up with the forearm on the throat and tripoding up on his feet. He's managed to break Shibuya's overhook and so now Shibuya's in a bad spot. Uh, neck crank by Delusia. Just the simple old can opener. Back to the overhook goes Shibuya. Uh, overhook and wrist control, so he's probably thinking triangle. Uh, forearm choke attempt by Delusia here. And now he's, um, he's hammerlocking Shibuya underneath his own body and trying to use that to pass. Very interesting. Uh, Wilson Hayes uses that. A lot, as does uh, Josh Barnett. Josh Barnett teaches this particular pass. Because it's a good way to stop yourself from being triangled, because if they do, they cannot commit their hips to the triangle and you can just pass easily. But we didn't get to see the Lucia finish that pass. They've been stood back up again. Low kick by Shibuya. High kick by Shibuya. Counter by Delucia. It's a stomp kick to the knee by uh, Shibuya there. Double leg attempt. Nice uh, cross face counter by Delucia. Good overhook counter to that uh, attempt to back door to go out the back door by Shibuya. And now he's in top half guard. Back to the forearm choke from top half guard. Shibuya didn't like that at all. Managed to shove the arm off. And 
and Delicious used that to pass to Mount. Attempted underhook escape by Shibuya didn't quite work out. Uh, Delicia doing a good job of controlling this mount here, really grinding the forearm on poor old Shibuya's head. Uh, stopped that backdoor escape, sitting back into a triangle. Mounted triangle attempt, but backdoor escape by Shibuya, straight onto Delicia's back. Uh, Delicia tries to back roll, nicely done Shibuya to stay on without losing the position. Now he's yanking uh, Delicia back onto him, using an inside wrist. Oh, he's got a, a net crank here. Nasty. Uh, Delicia's doing his best to fight hands and escape. He's gone belly down. He's managed to escape the neck crank. Mind you, Delicia's probably used to this because that neck crank was a favorite of Ken Shamrock's. Uh, camel clutch attempt by Shibuya here. Causing bad noises to come from Delicia, but he's managed to escape it there. Nicely done. Uh, the crowd applauds, and so do I. Golf clap for Delicia. A uh, bit of his own medicine for Delucia, eating a forearm grind from Shibuya, who's trying to backstep into guard, and the ref has stood them up. Delucia's like, woo! Good escape there, lucky me, or well done me. Ref fixing Delucia's knee pads. Here's the glorious USA knee pads. Right, back fighting. Palm strikes from Delicia. Oh, and he spins straight to uh, Shibuya's back on that um, takedown attempt. Really nicely done. Uh, wrist control from Delicia. Looks very uncomfortable. He's almost kimuroing um, Shibuya's hand, and he's right on the chin. Oh, he's dug in that choke. I told you Shibuya had a good back, uh, good choke. And uh, that's right on Shibuya. If Shibuya loses the uh, chin, oh, now he's getting choked. Oh. Bad times for Shibuya there. Uh, Shibuya's chin was all that was stopping him getting choked, but his chin was slowly getting broken there, so uh, bad times, bad times indeed for Shibuya. And Delusia moving on to a King of Pancras title match next month at Pancras Truth Day. I think Delusia, I think uh, Shibuya is saying, you nearly took my fucking teeth off with that choke, you asshole. <laughs> and Delusia raises his hand. I like a cute boy. Very nice. This is like, don't choke me, I choke you. Ha <laughs> uh, ha! I've compared uh, Delusia to the, mo the real Frank Ducks, because he's a kung fu master who fought all over the world. And uh, he just finished by choke, well, neck crank, so uh, he should have been shouting, Say it! Say it! Say it! <laughs> and uh, Shibuya should have said, Mate! Uh, just like the end of Bloodsport, but you know, life is unfortunately, it doesn't work out for you that way, so we missed that opportunity. Although Delicia has quite often shouted Mate like he was uh, uh, at the Kumite, so there you go. Yeah, that was a gnarly choke, because he was choking to face. Because uh, putting your chin in there, not a valid choke defense. Well, no, it's a valid choke defense, not a uh, guaranteed choke defense. Well, mind you, nothing's a guaranteed choke defense. Fuck it. Not a safe choke defense, uh, especially if someone just goes, K, I'm just going to choke right through your chin. Alright, final match. So, first to the ring is Yuki Kondo, which makes a lot of sense because he didn't found the company.
And he's taking his sweet time getting to the ring. And this is a big fight for Yuki Kondo, because he's essentially fighting his uh, dad. <laughs> I am sure that Yuki Kondo has a very good relationship with his father and whatever on going, going on, but Masakatsu Funaki and Minoru Suzuki were essentially every single Pancras Young Boy's uh, two loving, caring fathers. Uh, one of their fathers, of course, set put toothpicks in their heads and set them on fire, and the other one just trained them how to have a sick guard, so there you go. Fighting his fight dad is Yuki Kondo. And here comes Funaki. To his extremely funky theme, Red Zone. And here comes the guitar riff. Just a shame, they fade out the music just as the guy on the guitar goes completely insane. But yeah, Funaki's theme is, uh, not gonna say it's up there, it's a great one, it's a good uh, Japanese wrestler theme. Not as good as, or iconic as Kazuni Nare, but, uh, or the Speed TK remix, but, ah, uh, it's up there as one of my favourites. Alright, Funaki stretching out, getting ready to go. Uh, as expected, men in the crowd losing their mind and shouting Funaki very loudly. Kondo looks very serious. Inside low from Kondo. Body kick from Funaki. Winging some slaps in. Oh, yeah, Kondo's giving it a go. Oh, he's eating some fucking knees from Funaki here. Funaki had a strong tie clinch. Oh, long uh, slap there by Funaki. Good kick. Uh into an interesting sort of modified clinch here with a quarter Nelson, standing quarter Nelson by Funaki and he's shoved free. Kondo looking nervous. Inside low from Kondo. Well, back in the clinch, not a good place to be. Good kick by Funaki there. Hard palm strikes too. Oh, another uh, cuffed straight into the uh, tie clinch. Triple knees on Kondo and he sprawled out on that takedown attempt and spun to the back here. Uh, Kondo too slow to move and now he's got Funaki on his back. Shitty place to be, shitty place to be Kondo. <laughs> uh, he's doing the right things, fighting hands, but Kondo has a sort of half Nelson on one side. It's going to be very difficult to uh, peel Funaki off now. Oh, Funaki's under the chin. 
Condo's fighting the gripping, skewering hand, doing his best, but no, Funaki's behind the haze, he's reaching for the ropes, and he's tapped! That is it! <laughs> Beaten by his fight dead is Yuki Kondo, and so Masakatsu Funaki moves on to the King of Pancras title match next month at Pancras 10. Well, that is it for the event, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed it very much. I enjoyed doing it all in one go. It worked out pretty well. Uh, fight of the night goes to Osami Shibuya versus Jason DeLucia, and that is it. I will see you all next time.